Good evening and welcome to TL Physics. Today I am going to talk about the nucleus of an atom. Now at GCSE you may have experienced this and I'm going to talk and debunk a few things that you may have been told. Please remember um, anything to do with particle physics that I say of course may have changed However, what I'm teaching is to the AQA specification that is currently available to, from after 2015. So, a an atom is made up of protons and neutrons in the centre, and you have electrons orbiting the outside. You, you at GCSE would have been told that a proton and a neutron have a mass of one, and an electron has negligible mass. We can't do that in physics anymore. We can't say these things. We actually have to be a little bit more specific. This is still true that protons and neutrons are found inside the nucleus of the atom and electrons are found orbiting the outside. But we have to be a little bit more specific about the information. So, proton, neutron, and electron. So the mass of a proton is 1.67. On your data sheet there will be a bracket that says 3, you use that in the second year, times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. Its charge is the charge of an electron. It's the same charge but it's positive. So it's positive 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Coulombs. So I'm just going to put coulombs up here. A neutron is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms and has zero charge. An electron is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms and has a charge of negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. These numbers are found on your data sheet. You need to know these numbers for use much later on in other um, exam questions and other topics, etc. So it's really important that they may get ingrained in your head, but you have them to your hand in your data sheet. Now, here's uranium-235. And from this, I'm going to be able to identify how many protons and how many neutrons and how many electrons I have from it. So this number here is called the proton number. And this is unique to uranium. If you change the number of protons an element has, it's a completely different element. So, an example, if I have hydrogen, which has got one proton, if I add another proton to it, it becomes helium. This is the mass number. This is how many protons and neutrons I have. So in this case, this atom of uranium-235, I have 92 protons, so that's P, and I would have 143 neutrons. This is just a normal atom. Therefore, it has no charge. So the amount of electrons I have are 92. If this atom started to having charge, I would start changing the number of electrons I had. You cannot change the protons you have because change the proton, change the element. Neutrons here, they can change too. And you can have uranium-238, you can have uranium-236. These are known as isotopes. They're the same element with a different number of neutrons. And this is important for nuclear decay. Neutrons are this neutral uh, thing, bit of mass you're adding to the nucleus. And in some cases, this causes instability in the nucleus, which causes it to decay. It's kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back. If you add too many neutrons to something, you can cause it to decay. And that's how things like um, uh, atomic weapons would work or nuclear fusion fission would work. You cause this idea of firing neutrons at something and then causing instability to cause them to decay.